district is known for live music, arts, and entertainment. New on 2, 2 News reporter Sarah Goldenberg found its latest addition, the Brady Tavern, is a part of a much bigger vision for downtown Tulsa. Kind of like your homey tavern with an upscale twist. Business is picking up at the Brady Tavern after a soft opening just three weeks ago. As new studios, lofts, and bars open in the area, the historic Brady District is becoming busy once again. There was nothing down here. This was, you know, not the greatest part of town. And now, like, you have the Sound Pony, the Brady Tavern, you know, all the other places down here, and it's just really really done a lot in the past 10 years, really since the BOK Center opened. <laughs> He's done his part to revitalize the Blue Dome District. Now Elliot Nelson, CEO of McNally's Group, has his eyes on the Brady District. Nelson says downtown is transforming one new business at a time. I was born and raised in Tulsa, and it was always sad to me that downtown had been kind of abandoned. I mean, you know, you go to other cities and you see these vibrant downtowns and people getting off work and staying, staying right there and, and enjoying these urban environments, and it was sad to me that Tulsa had abandoned that. He'd like to see more people take advantage of what the Brady District has to offer. I think this is really going to be kind of the arts core of Tulsa. You look at it, um, there's some other loft space and gallery space coming online, and I think it's really going to be a place that, that fosters creative growth and a lot of artistic endeavors. So thank you so much for entering. It really means a lot to have such a great turnout. Blake Ewing is another Tolson with the vision of bustling bars and restaurants downtown. He's made his mark in the Blue Dome District. I really believe that in the next five years we'll see an entirely different Tulsa than what we see today, and it'll be because of each one of these kind of individual little districts and neighborhoods continuing to grow and come into its own. Ewing says a vibrant downtown will put Tulsa back on the map. I think, you know, catching up where we're behind uh, will put us in, in the running to be the best city in America, and that's what I hope that we become. Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you.